Hey guys, today on our Zulu Tech, we're just going to be continuing the Create Your Own Blog and Forum tutorial series. This is the second part in which we will be teaching you how to embed the blog and forum onto your website properly, how to change the theme to match perfectly with your website, and uh, once we end this video, in the third part, we're going to be going over some code changes we can make to Nabble in order to make it a little more streamlined. And don't worry, in the third part, I'll walk you through it. The code is it's really simple changes, so uh, it's all simple stuff. No worries. So let's go ahead and begin this. See, we have our blog and forum from last time. Now, you remember I made you create a control section a forum and a blog. Now, if you didn't do this, that's fine. If you just have a forum or you just have a blog, the steps are exactly the same. All right, so what we're going to want to do is stay in the control zone here. Go to options, embedding options. Don't forget to log in, by the way. You have to do that before you can do any of this. So after you logged in, just go ahead and go into embedding options. Just copy the code here. Go to your website and create new pages. Now we're going to want three pages since we made three things, the control, the blog, and the form. Now if you made a control page, you're going to want to, let me just put C for control, you're going to want to hide the control page from navigation and you're also going to want to hide it from search engines. This is just if you made a control page. Alright, so push save and edit. Now we're on the control page and you see it's obviously hidden from the navigation menu up there. We're going to go ahead and put some code in. Now, remember, this works for all uh, website building platforms. It doesn't matter because it's just some simple embeddable code. So put the code in there, and it's embedded onto our website. Now, we're going to go ahead and go back to pages, and we're going to put this for F for form. We're going to put B for blog. Now, we're going to go to the forum, we're going to edit that. And we're going to put some code in there as well. Back to the blog and form thing here. Go to forum and repeat the process. Go to embedding options, get this code, copy it, and paste it in. All right. Oh, excuse me. Uh, we have the form on it now. And now we can also go to the blog, and we need to do the same thing. And that's really all there is to embedding it to your website now. In the third part, we will be talking about how to redirect search engine um, results to your website. It's fairly simple. I'll, uh, I'll just be showing you how to do that in the third part. All right, now that we have that done, in order to change the theme of the blog and forum, we have to go to the control section, or uh, depending on how you made your, your blog and forum, whatever the first link uh, up here is. For us, it's the control section. This is the first one. This is where everything else is hosted on. So go to that on your website. Let's see, we have the control section here. Go to options. Uh, you'll probably need to log in again. Then go to application, change, appearance. So you see we have a few options up here. We have font, we have color, preferences, and CSS. We're going to be taking a look at each one of these today. Now the first one, font, this is a very simple change that I think you can do on your own. Basically what I recommend is taking a look at your website, finding the font you use on your website and making it the same for the blog and forum. This will help it look more consistent and more professional. Now once you've done that, you can change the size anywhere from between 80 to 110, any of those sizes look good. The default size looks just fine. Uh, it kind of depends on per, uh, personal preference and whatever size font you're using on the rest of your website. So when you're done with that, just click apply. The next thing we're going to want to do is change the background to be transparent. Now this is fairly easy. In the CSS button right here, click that. We see we have a little um, white blank section here. There is some code you just need to copy and paste in there. It's in the description for you. So just paste this code into the CSS and push apply. Once you've done that, the background will become transparent, uh, fitting a little bit better with your website. Now you can change the color of the links and the boxes here to match your website. So when you click color, 
you see you have each, indiv uh, each individual thing with the color code. Now you can go through this and change each color code accordingly, or you can start by choosing a color theme that looks closer to your website. We're, we'll try Moonlight. And it looks like it, the transparency went away. Let's try putting that in again. All right. So this is kind of a little buggy. I've noticed before in the past when you change the scheme, it may or may not take away the transparency in the background. So it's just something you'll have to try. But if you can, try and choose a theme that's closer to your website and then build off with the color codes from there. But for us right now, that's not working, so we'll just take a look at some of the colors in this that aren't really matching up. So it looks like the link color doesn't look right. Um, you know what, let's use a... This would look good for the link color. But that's what's not used. We'll use this one right here. We'll just copy this code. And for the link, paste it in there paste it in there and we'll just make this FFF FF for white now if you don't know these color codes you should yeah you should just go ahead and Google some color codes that you can use or um, find the color codes uh, for certain things on your website to help the theme match if you've never used color codes before it's not very hard to learn it all it is is just a code stands for a color and there's tons of information on it if you look it up on Google so let's try that all right, so the links are easier to read now. That's good, except for right here. Let's go to color. Hmm, which color is this? Let's try making this FF. FF for white. Now, I know some of these color codes, and that's the only reason I can put them in there is because I know them uh, without looking it up on Google. That still doesn't look right. Let's go back to the color and we'll just make it black no that won't work make it gray copy where was that was it this one i think it was this one all right just paste it in there i think you get the general idea though go ahead and try that all right so that looks good uh, for the most part. So all you got to do is just go ahead and take a look at these color codes, put in um, things until it looks right, and then see these two buttons down here. Now they're kind of cut off from the screen, uh, but uh, you know, you just, that one's apply and this one is restore to default. So that's all you need to know. So click apply when you're done with changing your color code. This looks okay. Of course, this is an example, so I'm not going to try and waste your time by making it perfect, but you get the idea. And so the last thing we're going to take a look at is preferences. Now, we have some more options in here, like how many uh, posts per th uh, page, how many threads per page, stuff like that. You can take a look at these and set it how you like it, but the default one seems to work pretty good for me. So we can go ahead and leave this. But if you want to change these options, they're there for you to change. All right, so that pretty much concludes the second part. In the third part, we're going to be removing the ads for free. We're going to be removing the topic view because it, it kind of screws things up. I'll explain a bit more in the third part, but we're just going to be removing this button right here all together. And if you haven't noticed, for the form and the blog, the theme changes have also been made to these since we made it to the control section right here. So the changes are the same, but you'll notice there's a link to control, and it takes you, but we're on the, the form page. We don't want that. So let's reload the form page right here. We're also going to be removing this first link, the control link, so that people on your form page only see the form link. People on the blog page will only see the blog link up here in the corner. So we'll just take the control link out. We'll be removing uh, stuff like that. So the uh, third part won't be too long. It'll just be like three or four code changes. And I'll also be showing you how to change the cursor for your uh, for your blog and form too if you're interested so that's pretty much all there is to it I hope you guys uh, thought this was helpful and clear enough that you could understand um, so please check out the channel you know thumbs up rate this video check you know subscribe all that good stuff and we'll see you guys next time